Hey and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. In this video, you'll learn all about video settings in Doodly. Please click the like and subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we release free trainings. And if you have any questions about what we cover, leave a comment and the awesome Doodly community would love to help. Thanks for watching, now let's get straight to the training. In this tutorial video, we're going to go over the video settings of Doodly. Now, we are talking about the video settings button, which is this button here in the lower left corner. Not to be confused with the scene settings button up here in the upper right. So this standard settings button controls all of the settings for the entire video, whereas the scene settings button is for a scene by scene basis. So let's go ahead and open up settings and you'll get this video settings screen. You'll start on the far left here and have the option to change your background. If you recall, you selected a background when you first created your, your video, but now you can change your mind at any point. Once you've selected a background style, you can move on to the hand style. You'll notice that you can have right-handed or left-handed hand styles. Then underneath the real hand section are the real hand images that you can choose from. You have a variety here and they do vary based on which option you have selected. For the whiteboard, you have the most choices. You have fewer choices for the dark board and green board, glass board, and then custom has the same choices as before. You can also choose not to have a hand at all, if so desired. Doodly also has some cartoon hands, which are great. They also have different options. And again, no hand. If you select the chalkboard options, you'll notice that the hands actually are holding a piece of white chalk instead of a pen. This is true also for the cartoon hands. Over here on the far right, you can change the title of your video. Then down here, you have a few more choices. Video ends when. This one is probably better explained by showing it to you, which I'll do in just a moment. But basically, you have two choices. The video ends when the animation ends, or when both the animation and audio end. So let's get out of here for a moment. And you'll see that I have a short little video and it has a longer music track. So if I hit preview, you'll see the scenes and it's going to end when my animation ends. So in just a second, it's gonna stop. And boom, it's over. Now, you couldn't hear the music because I've got it muted right now, but you'll see that the music continues on and on and on. And likewise, if I had a voice over here, I might still be talking over here. So I may not want that. So if I don't want that, I would go into video settings and I would change this to when both the animation and audio end. Click apply. And now if we hit preview, You'll see it's a much longer track. Previously, it stopped right here, right about now. But now you'll see it continues playing. So I can hear the music in my headphones right now. And if I had a narration, it would still continue. But it freezes on this last image. So it just depends on what effect you're going for and the particulars of your video. Okay, let's go back into settings and continue. I'm gonna change this back and scene transitions. So you might have noticed that every time the scene changed in my video, the image swiped to the left and the new image appeared. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so it's gonna swipe. Okay, we have a new scene, swipe. And that's how it'll go for each and every 
scene that comes into this particular video. That's the default, but there are other options. You can have it swipe right, up, down, mixed, or even camera panning, which looks something like this. So you notice how it went down to the corner. That went down to the corner. So that's just a different effect. The next option is erase mode. Right now I have it in smart mode. And if you look at this particular arrow here, okay, Notice how it's overlapping on top of another image. Now when we hit preview, the hand is going to erase an area for that arrow. So let's take a look. There he goes, the finger erased it. And then he drew it in. And that's a neat effect, but if you don't like that effect, you can turn that off or you can change it to eraser. See what that looks like. So the hand used an eraser. Let's turn it off. And this time there's going to be no erasing. He just draws it in. Now smart mode alternates between the finger erase mode or the smart erase mode depending on how the image is sized or whatnot you know if it's just a small corner then it's going to be a finger but it, if it's going to cover this entire rectangle area it might be the eraser instead let's go back in and then this corner here is all about the resolution again this is something that you set at the beginning when you first create the video but you can change it at any time. And this is one area where you can do that. So right now it's at the default of 480p. In my opinion, that's a little too small. So I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna do it at 1080. So that's 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna choose to constrain the aspect ratio right now. And that is how it will be. You do have other options. You can make it sized for Facebook and Instagram, which makes it a square. So it's exactly 1000 by 1000. And you'll notice constraint aspect ratio has been turned off. So that way the rectangle is no longer a rectangle. It is now a square. And then finally down here in the lower portion, you have enable autosave. And this just means that Doodly is going to save your video every minute automatically. So you won't lose your work if you forget to save. Hit apply. And you'll notice, remember I had set it to the Facebook square format. See how the aspect ratio has changed from a rectangle to a square. If you recall, we could change the title of the video in video settings. We can also change it up here. Just real quick and easy. There's one last thing I wanted to show you and that was how to duplicate your video so that you can make multiple versions of it. To do that you're gonna do it in my videos. Here's the video that I just created. I'm going to right click on it and I'm gonna click duplicate video. Now I have a copy of it. So maybe I wanted to have a whiteboard version and now I want to have a Blackboard version. So I'm going to go ahead and click it to edit it. Go to settings. Change it. And maybe I'll give it a different name. So if we hit preview. There's our video. And that's the basics of video settings. Thanks for watching.